well, sleep is really, really important, more than I thought, which I wish we all knew this when we were in our 20s. Uh, but I do try more than I used to. I, especially as I get older, it's harder to recover from a night like that on an airplane. And again, this, this biofeedback really helps me because it makes you more aware of what's going on. And so that's why I've got this ring on my finger, which is used by now many people to monitor their sleep, not just when they sleep, but how well they sleep. And I learn what causes me not to sleep well. Of course, being on a plane doesn't help. But even if I'm at home in my bed, if I have a drink late at night or two, messes up my sleep and I'll feel it the next day. Uh, a large meal, a big steak late at night, eight yeah. o'clock, nine o'clock, won't sleep. <clears throat> and I used to wonder why I would feel up, I wake up feeling bad. And now I've figured out it's, it's the sleep disruption. Turns out a few things happen. NAD cycles throughout the day. So when you wake up in the morning, you're getting more NAD, getting ready for the day. Um, and it's cycling. It's, it's responsible for our sleep-wake cycles, which is one of the reasons why sleep is so important. You want to make sure that it's all in sync. By the way, if you disrupt sleep cycles, you get aging. That's <laughs> not in animals. 